Hey, I'm Mark Richardson. I'm the editor of Canada Motor Guide. I'm here with Graham Jones at Yamaha Canada's booth at the Toronto Motorcycle Show. Graham, you're the marketing coordinator, right? That's correct, yeah. And do you have anything this year to market and coordinate? <laughs> yeah, it's actually uh, a really exciting year for us. We're standing here with the 2021 Tenere 700. Um, this is a bike that a lot of people have been looking forward to for a long time. For a very long time, right? For, for, for a long time, yeah. When we uh, introduced the prototype to this bike, everybody loved it. They said, okay, let's get that it. That was like 100 years ago. <laughs> it, was, it was a couple years ago. Yeah, there you go. It feels like longer than it, than it was, but it's because the anticipation was really high for it. Um, so yeah, these are, these are actually production models that we're gonna have here. Um, this is how the bike is gonna look when it comes to Canada. So we're very excited to show it off here. How much is it? 11, sorry, 12. Three nine nine. Oh, you almost gave us a cheaper price, right? We we had an early deposit program that was uh, uh, came in just a that? nick under twelve grand, right. but the price on this bike is one of the most exciting parts of it, and that's been one of the biggest selling points. For so us. is that why I want to buy this bike over the competition because it's cheaper? <laughs> clever, clever. That is not the only reason, um, but this this bike is actually designed to be very easy to uh, live with, easy to manage. There aren't all kinds of gadgets on it. You don't have to scroll through all kinds of menus to just ride, right? So you're trying not to say that even I could ride it, right? Well, there you go. Oh, all right, you said it. Let's go and have a look at another bike, because you got the MT-03 here, right? MT-03, another one of the uh, exciting models that we've got on tap for 2020, yeah. Let's go look. Let's do it. Is it just an R3 with, doesn't have a fairing on it? Not exactly, but it's definitely based on the R3. You know, the R3 uh, came out about four years ago, five years ago now. Uh, we've really saturated the market with that smaller displacement sport bike styling. And it was only time before we decided to uh, put something out here that joined the rest of the MT series, but in the small displacement category. What displacement is this? It's a 321cc inline twin. Is this a good entry bike? Amazing entry bike, yeah. In my opinion, even compared to the R3, um, which got thousands of people into riding, this bike with the upright riding position, the higher handlebars, you actually have a, a bit higher perch. You feel like you've got a little bit more control, see around a little bit better. So amazing for introductory riders. Would this be your smallest and cheapest and least powerful motorcycle on the Yamaha stand today? Uh, no, compared to some of the, uh, let's say a PW50, for example. Oh, right, you okay. Go, you could sit on something like that. But this would probably as far be... As street motorcycles, yes. This is our, uh, our like, entry-level bike. 6,000 bucks? 6,000 bucks, yeah. And how much to insure? That's uh, the question, right? That is a good question. I, we can't answer that. But uh, less than the R1. <laughs> Certainly less than the R1. This one, um, because it is a more of a standard motorcycle, we categorize it as uh, a sport bike as far as our categories go, but it's an upright standard motorcycle and, uh, you know, insurance follows that. Well, it looks good enough. and I love, love the red wheels. Yeah. But since we're here at the stand, let's go look at the R1. Let's do it. We've gone from entry level, easy to ride, to this sucker. What is this? Yes, so this is the 2020 R1M. It's the up-spec version of the R1, which everybody knows is Yamaha's flagship 1,000cc uh, sport bike. And uh, yeah, we've got all kinds of trick bits on this bike. Is this real carbon fiber? This is real carbon fiber. There's lots of carbon fiber on this bike. We've got magnesium wheels, titanium engine components, a whole host of electronics, a really impressive electronic suite. So there's a lot going on with this bike. It's road legal? It is road legal, yes. Why would I want to ride this on the road? Well, you might not want to, but you probably have a lot of money and you <laughs> want to look super cool. So this is Fair the bike for you. Fair enough. How much is this bike? It's 27999 And does it make 27,000 horsepower? <laughs> it makes a lot of horsepower. It's a whole new engine this year as well. Um, we've, we uh, upgraded it to meet Euro 5. Uh, specifications. Oh, so, so it's environmentally friendly. It's an environmentally friendly 1,000cc oh, sport bike. Yes, exactly. Jeez. Well, Graham, thank you very much for your time. Absolutely. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Thank you. For Canada Motor Guide, I'm Mark Richardson.